2025 just around the corner and tech continues to trend upward with the Nasdaq hitting new all-time highs on Wednesday. What does it hold for tech overall when we think about what could come of tech for the next couple of years? Well, Matt Kunkel's with us, CEO and co-founder at LogicGate. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, we think that uh, a lot of folks, when I speak to the, the NYSE folks and uh, Matthew Harris, uh, Michael Harris, who was here head of listings, he talked about a lot of AI IPOs in the works, mm -hmm. software IPOs. Are you seeing that? Are you expecting a lot of tech listings? Yeah, I think 25 is going to be an amazing year for both the IPO and M&A market in general. And if you think about why, there's been so much pent-up demand for it over the last four years. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of uncertainty in the political landscape, the uncertainty in the economic landscape. CEOs don't like uncertainty, right? So now that there is more certainty in that space, I think that's going to open up uh, certainly the M&A markets and the IPO markets. Right, understood. Um, when we think about the administration and the change in Lena Khan um, to Andrew Ferguson, there's been a lot of talk about the potential there. Do you think there's potential in that change? Well, I think no matter what the administration was, that this was inevitable of happening and opening up both the M&A and the IPO markets. I think where I play was in, it? in the risk... It was cuts, inevitable? Well, I think both of them were going to open it up, right? I think there's, there's more certainty in who that political landscape is now. There's more certainty in the economic landscape. And I think there's more capital. There's a lot of capital on the sidelines that needs right. to get deployed, honestly. Right. 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 Understood. So what, when we talk about IPO and M&A activity for 2025, what do you think will sort of steal the show? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them out there. There's Hinge Health is is one of the ones. Chime, uh, Netscope is a great one. And MySpace and cybersecurity, mm -hmm. one that I think a lot of people are thinking about is Wiz, right? With the, the activity that they were just doing with Google. Um, so there's a lot of different ones that are out there that could steal the show. Right. So expanded security budgets and risk-focused lens in the boardroom. What does that mean? Well, I think if you think not just the IPO market, but just think about it in general of organizations need to really have a uh, risk and compliance lens that they are taking. And if you think about AI and all of what we've done with AI over the last two years, we've moved so fast, but they haven't governed AI. We need to put AI governance in place so that we can understand where AI is being used right. in organizations and then be able to track that back to how, how we are regulating AI within the organizations and customers. What I'm seeing is customers are driving a lot of this right. as well. You talk about a lot of money on the sidelines and that means more funding and more innovation, right? We need that. 100% we do. And I think over the last couple of years, innovation's really been stifled because of the uncertainty and CEOs in uncertain times, they go back and they say, hey, we're not gonna take bets. We're not gonna take strategic risk-based bets. And a lot of what LogicGate does is help organizations highlight where risk is in their organization, how they mitigate that risk away, and then how they can take strategic risk-based bets on top of that. And then being able to say, okay, we, we are now able to use the funds that we have to drive innovation outside of just AI, which is really all we've seen, at least I believe, from the, um, the innovation landscape over the last two years. You said uh, there were some that had the mantra, survive until 2025. Uh, what made 2025 so different? Well, I think the, the more uncertainty, it cycles that are, are CEO uh, forums that I run, and we said that all the time. How do we survive until 25? We're going to know what the political landscape looks like. Right. I think the, the inflation is going to come down and what the Fed is doing and driving more certainty into soft landings from an economic environment is out there. So with more certainty comes the ability to take more strategic risk-based bets within these organizations and open up some of the budget and not just be, right. hey, we're going to shrink, uh, we're going to shrink the uh, budgets that we have for innovation. So I think now that we have that, we're going to see a lot more innovation outside of just the core AI landscape. Right, because you said it's AI. What else might money be spent on then? Well, I think a lot of markets are going to open up. I think you can see global markets opening up. I think new product lines that companies want to take strategic bets on. 
uh, cyber market is going to uh, continue to open up. That's one of the big areas that we see a lot of budget going to. I think we will continue to see budget going to cyber, but it's really what the problem that we see is how do you communicate to the board and to the executive team how do you talk about cyber in the language of dollars and cents, right? The language of the right. CEO. And we've actually just launched the first ever value realization tool in the risk compliance and cybersecurity space to really hit on three core things. How are you driving efficiencies within organizations in these programs? How are you reducing risk from where the risk was to uh, what the control sets you have might reduce risk? And then ultimately, how are you enabling uh, risk and compliance as a business enabler to say, right. hey, I'm, I'm in these uh, core areas. Maybe it's I've got my SOC in place, but I want to get into this new market of the federal government, so I have to be FedRAMP certified. Right. How, how do I... Um, how am I able to marry that up and see where I am and then make those strategic risk based And it certainly seems like a lot of tech because you're talking about AI, you're talking about cybersecurity, yeah. um, still in tech, right? I mean, yeah, I think the tech it industry. It just seems like that's it. Yeah, is I that think, the main well, show? I think the tech industry is continuing to boom over the next mm -hmm. five years. I think mm -hmm. obviously other industries are there. But if you think about risk and compliance in general, it's a very horizontal uh, it's a very horizontal industry vertical. It doesn't matter if you're a, a retailer, a healthcare industry, a financial service industry, you have to understand where risks lie in your organization, right. how you're using uh, controls or policies to mitigate that risk away, and then how can you make strategic risk-based bets on Right, that. so a lot of, uh, ahead, you had written 2025 will be an explosive year for IPOs and M&As, and you were talking about some, and I was uh, discussing some others with some folks here, Stripe, Klarna, StubHub, you mentioned some already, um, Cerebras Systems, SpaceX even, uh, who knows, yeah. right? Yeah. Service Titan, which is today, um, so a lot to come. All right, Matt Kunkel, CEO, co-founder at LogicGate. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to see you. Appreciate it.